I really wanted to make a video about a good thing. But today, I have to tell you a bad thing. A few days ago, when I was going to the organization, a man came to me with unstable walking. He was about to fall down, he was really drunk. And he grabbed my arm and talked to me. Do you need something? I didn't get it. I asked him, what do you mean? And he was whispering, I have a good medicine for you. He is a drug dealer. I searched about how they get drugs. Puppies are harvested in Afghanistan, and they are shipped to Pakistan for refining to heroin. After that, they are carried to the coast of Kenya by ship from Pakistan. Kenya is a very good country for smuggling drugs, because the Kenyan coast is long and poorly monitored. I decided to try to buy drugs. I found dealers so easily. Uh, exactly what do you have? Yeah. Heroin. Heroin and cannabis. Yeah. So, can I get right now? Yeah. I asked him, I want to buy a drug right now. They shot me immediately. It was in his pocket. Is this? Yeah. This is weird, right? Yeah. They seem like they don't afraid the of police. They didn't even ask who I am. It was so easy to reach to drugs, and it took just five minutes to find them. I saw a lot of letters like this on the wall in the organization. And I didn't understand. Young children? Come on, they don't take a drug. But after I talked with one of staff in the organization, I understood it. Sellers introduces a drug to children or force them to do a drug. Children doesn't even know what drug is. They just do it. And it's easy to manipulate children. Because here in Islam, they don't have that much things to do. They are exposed to drugs. According to UN, 5.5% of world's population are abusing drugs. Drug abusing is increasing in Kenya and especially among the youth. There's a statistic. More than half of drug users are aged 10 to 19 years. I really like how they're treating children. They give opportunities, food, educations, and so on. Especially, I like this part, education. Every Saturday, they're teaching children about drugs and something they should learn. That's why I support them. So where to youth initiate? I know we can't stop 100% drug selling, but we can stop children to do a drug. If you have a chance to go to a country like Kenya, please come this village and feel these problems and support them for their future. Let's do it together.